Sonnet 6 by William Shakespeare, 1565 to 1616. Then let not winter's ragged hand deface in thee thy summer, ere thou be distilled. Make sweet some vial, treasure thou some place with beauty's treasure, ere it be self-killed. That use is not forbidden usury, which happies those that pay the willing loan. That's for thyself to breed another thee, or ten times happier, be it ten for one. Ten times thyself were happier than thou art, if ten of thine ten times refigured thee, then what could death do, if thou shouldst depart, leaving thee living in posterity? Be not self-willed, for thou art much too fair to be death's conquest, and make worms thine heir. Okay, this is another sonnet by William Shakespeare. Um, let's see. This sonnet is actually linked to sonnet number five. It continues with this idea of uh, making an essence of distilling a perfume of himself by having uh, a child. And this is another of these, these um, sonnets trying to persuade the fair youth to have children. So, then, let not winter's ragged hand deface in thee thy summer, ere thou be distilled. So don't let the ragged hand, the broken hand of winter, destroy in thee thy summer. Don't let it destroy the beauty in your face. Don't, don't let old age destroy your beauty air before thou be distilled before your essence has been distilled this is going on from uh, sonnet 5 make sweet some vile so make a vial of a distillation of yourself a vial of perfume uh, the uh, concentration of summer, the concentration of your beauty by having a child. Treasure thou some place with beauty's treasure ere it be self-killed. So treasure, here I think this means give treasure to some place, to give your treasure to um, a, a, a woman's womb. Um, give treasure to a um, a woman g g with beauty's treasure. So give beauty's treasure, your treasure of beauty, to um, a woman before it be self-killed, ere it be self-killed, before it kills itself, before it becomes dead without, um, without having children. Uh, and I think that's the idea, before it dies. That use is not forbidden usury. And this usury, um, I think, go, echoes back to Sonnet 4, where he's taught that there are various financial metaphors um, that say, um, that, that accuse the use of, uh, use of, of uh, not uh, using his beauty, like not using his wealth to make his wealth of beauty to make money, and he's saying that this is not a forbidden way to use your beauty, which happies those that pay the willing loan. So this is like lending money to people who it makes happy those who pay the loan to pay the loan willingly. So. Um, by using your beauty like, like this, you will make the world happy. You will give, give your beauty to the world. That's for thyself to breed another thee. So it's for you to have a child, to make another you. Or ten times happier, be it ten for one. So if you made 
ten of yourself, then you, you would be ten times as happy. The world would be ten times as happy. Ten times thyself were happier than thou art. So, um, uh, if, if, you, um, if you had ten children, then uh, you, would, you would make the world ten times as happy. You, you would be ten times as happy giving your beauty to the world. If ten of thine ten times refigured thee, so now he, he's saying, and imagine if those ten children had uh, ten, ch ten children each. That would be, you would multiply your beauty a hundredfold. Yeah? Okay, so uh, the world would be a hundred times better. Then what could death do if thou shouldst repart? If you had a hundred uh, descendants, then how, how would death what would death do? How would death get rid of you? Death couldn't get rid of you. If that leaving thee in posterity. So, um, if you had a hundred descendants, this would live you al alive in pos posterity, living forever. Be not self-willed. Um, so don't be selfish. For thou art much too fair to be death's conquest and make worms thy heir. So don't be selfish. You're much too beautiful to let death conquer you, to let, to, to be, let the worms uh, be the inheritors of your beauty and let your beauty disappear and rot. And notice as well, be not self-willed. This goes very, uh, very nicely with ere it be self-killed. So being self-willed and self-killed, uh, uh, maybe the, the, mm, the, the Shakespeare's idea of the same thing, and that you must let your beauty live forever. So enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now sonnet six by william shakespeare